Many of the women that I work with have experienced years of uh, sophisticated technological abuse uh, from having their uh, iPhones or their uh, Android phones monitored. I told you about the camera, the hidden camera in the shower, uh, the shower head. One of our survivors got out of Dodge, left California, went to another state, thought she was, she was in the safe at home program, thought she was really safe now. And then when she gets there, she discovers an air tag that he's planted, two air tags on her car to stalk her. Another lady thought she was charging her phone. And here's a hidden camera in the charging brick. What the heck? Weather clocks, regular clocks, light fixtures, smoke detectors, ceiling fans, they can all contain hidden cameras. So one of my one of my ladies here, uh, she owned her own business. Then she got married. Uh, her husband was in between jobs, but he was a good talker and started to help her with her business. And before she knew it, he was taking over the business, undermining her relationship with her employees and her relationship with her children, her uh, his stepchildren. Uh, she was on the phone one day doing some exploration about filing for divorce. She's having this long talk with the attorney and then he shows up in the doorway and he says, you know, I didn't hear the first part of that conversation, but I'm going to hear it all in a little while. He strolls over to her computer and he says to her as he puts his hand on this thing, you know what this is? Looks like a flash drive, doesn't it? He pulls it out. You know what else it is? It's a voice recorder. I'm going to go home and listen to that conversation. So just know wherever you are, 24-7 from now forward, I'm going to hear and see and be watching every move you make. Easy to look paranoid, huh? In the, with that kind of uh, relationship. So some of our survivors that we work with have been gifted Teslas by their partner. Seems nice on the surface, but then they wonder, how does he know where I am? Even when I leave my phone at home. Well, he's turned, he's got the Tesla app on his phone and he's stalking her in real time. And sometimes they turn that into a way to torment her by making the windows open and close as she's driving or honking the horn remotely. Right? So she's got to be careful about who she's seeing and who she's talking to. Hacking into her uh, website. This was a real case. Uh, um, Rosalind Polycarpio, a nurse and a former employee at McAfee who ended up getting killed by her partner, but not before he hacked into her LinkedIn page and changed her her profile to say, Rosalind, I am cheating whore, Polycarpio. Talk about, you know, really trying to um, uh, destroy somebody's professional reputation or taking her head and putting it on somebody else's body. Now we have apps that will digitally remove clothes from women, only women, it only works on women. We think we've come a long way, baby. <laughs> but as women, we have a long way to go to be treated as equals in this world. Only fans watch out for that because it can become a way of uh, stalking young girls where they're uh, posting images of themselves and other people pick up on that. It's same with this app where it matches uh, you up with other people with your phone numbers where non-consensual intimate images can be passed One thing to tell young people if they insist on doing that with a partner, because sometimes partners will say to them, come on, if you really love me, you know, because I'm missing you, honey, I mean, you know, if you want to stay in this relationship, you can advise them, you can express your concern. If they insist on doing it, maybe something, one thing to do is like, maybe don't include their face or uh, any uh, identifying uh, marks on their body. Yeah, but um, teenagers, they tend to think in the moment and uh, they so want to be loved and they so want to believe their partner that's when these guys can be wolves in sheep's clothing and that's when um, they can end up uh, finding images of themselves spread around their school stalking another lethality risk and that one that is not taken nearly seriously enough so this is reed malloy he says that for a women that get end up getting killed by their intimate partner 80 percent of them have been stalked prior here are some questions that you can ask your survivors if they kind of have a feeling they might be being stalked. So uh, you can take a look at these questions. Um, this can help them if they're starting to create a log to document it and then share it with the police because it's so hard to prove this kind of crime. 